see you, my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Hey guys, welcome back to the Moran family. So if you're new here, my name is Brittany and today's video is going to be all about Everly. If you don't know who Everly is, she is my third daughter. When I was 12 weeks pregnant with Everly, I found out she had two disorders, holoprosencephaly and trisomy 13. I gave birth to her August 16, 2019. I was told she would pass away very early on in my pregnancy. She wouldn't make it to term or she would be stillborn. Despite all of that, I decided to carry her in hopes of meeting her even if it was for a few minutes or like an hour that I got with her and I'm so blessed and grateful that I got that hour. So that's a little bit on Everly. I don't want to go into too much detail because I did document everything here on my YouTube channel from testing positive with her to finding out her diagnosis all the way up to her birth vlog. So you guys can look back at those if you want. I'll leave them linked down below in the description. But today's video is going to be me going through her keepsake box. I haven't looked in her stuff and like all of her keepsake box things. I haven't looked at it since I gave birth to her since the hospital. So this is going to be a really hard video, but I feel like I'm ready to film it. It's been a couple months and I just, I don't know, like it's still hard, but I feel strong enough to look at her things and go through them. But I asked you guys on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see all of Everly's things that I got, and you guys said yes. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and go through Everly's things. Here is what Everly's keepsake box looks like at the moment. As you can see, it's really full. This was given to us when we were in the hospital. The hospital made this, her nurses made it for her. And my nurses were so, amazing i can't thank them enough so here is what the inside of her box looks like so her handprint is right here and then her footprint is right here so tiny everly was really small she was four pounds so the first thing that's in here is this little gown so it's a little pink gown and it has lace on it Everly did not get to wear this because she ended up wearing another gown, which is also in here, so I'll show you guys that in a second. But she was gifted this by her nurses in the hospital. And then the next thing is... So the next thing that's in here is Everly's hospital blanket. This was the blanket that she was wrapped in when she was placed on my chest. And then this is her first beanie that was put on her head. So this is Everly's first beanie. This was the beanie that was placed on her head immediately after she was born. And then my nurse ended up swapping out that beanie and then put this little beanie on her because she said Everly needed a bow because she's a little girl. So this was the second beanie that was placed on her head. Everly was also gifted this cute little beanie but she didn't get to wear this one because she just ended up wearing the one that I showed you guys. It's also this little, I think this is like a little, I'm not sure what you call this. Kind of looks like a little cape, but Everly didn't get to wear that as well, but she was gifted that in the hospital. Here's another beanie. Oh, I probably should have grabbed some tissues for this video. And then in here is the card from the chaplain that came in the middle of the night and he baptized Everly. We had her baptized um, after she passed away. That was something that we just wanted to be done. And this man, his name is Dan. I don't want to put all of his information out there. It was really late. I believe it was a little bit before midnight, I want to say. So the chaplain in the hospital wasn't around. And as you guys can imagine, Finding a chaplain in the middle of the night at almost midnight was a mission, but my nurses ended up doing it. They called around and my nurses were so sweet. They were able to locate a chaplain for us. He was um, like, he was a chaplain from the local fire station and he came out and he was so sweet. He shared his story with us because um, 
him and his wife also lost a newborn so it was very hard for him to come into the room and baptize Everly because as you guys can imagine I'm sure he was feeling all of the emotions that him and his wife went through but he ended up holding it together and he blessed Everly and I'm, I'm so thankful for him that he did that for us and there's also this little envelope in here with a little card it says a special memory I'm gonna read it to you guys it says fallen drifting aimlessly on a sea of hope and pain the leaf cradles a teardrop offers refuge embodies hope just as winter awakens to spring our deepest sorrow harbors the seed of hope renewed there's also a little ring in here a really tiny ring and then inside this card is Everly's little birth information so it has her name her name was Everly Zoila Moran it has her birth date which was August 16th she was born at 6 41 p.m. and her birth weight was four pounds six ounces and she was 16 inches and then we also have a little bit of her hair in here another thing that's in here is this little heart pillow and the next thing in here is actually from Layla so the day after I gave birth to Everly we had both of the girls come into the room so that way they can meet their sister so before Layla came Layla is my oldest daughter if you guys didn't know she's six and then Aurora is my second daughter she is almost two years old so before Layla and Aurora came into the room, my mom took Layla to the gift shop in the hospital. So that way Layla can pick something out for her sister Everly. And Layla ended up picking out this gorgeous crystal angel. It's so beautiful. There's also our hospital bracelets in here. Everly's mine, um, her dad Benny's hospital bracelet. And then there's this little this little headband. So there's actually a funny story that comes with this little headband and these little ribbons. So like I told you guys, Everly was really small when she was born. She was four pounds, six ounces. So the headband that I brought for her originally to the hospital was way too big on her. So my nurses, again, are were so amazing. They went out of their way to scour the hospital for anything that they could find for Everly and they ended up finding this beautiful dress that had lace on it. My nurses actually cut up the dress and made Everly this little headband but this ended up turning out to be too um, big on her head too so they tried everything. They tried ribbons and they ended up making it work but they're just, ugh, that was so sweet. There's also a little book in here. This says, you are the mother of all mothers. A message of hope for the grieving heart. So it's just a book about grieving. I actually haven't read this, but I feel like I should probably read this. This looks like a good, this looks like a good book. But there's also a envelope in here. Let's see what this says. So it says, keep a song in your heart. This is actually from one of my nurses and I don't think I've seen this card yet, but it says sending lots of prayers. There's also some seeds in here for forget me not flowers. They're super beautiful. I plan on planting some flowers for Everly, but I don't wanna use all of the seeds. That way I can keep some for memories. But I do plan on planting Everly some flowers with these. And then in our backyard, we want to fix like our backyard up really nice. We also plan on getting a tree in honor of Everly. There's another card in here. It says, this tiny someone touched our hearts and left our lives somehow changed forever. So this is also, this is also from our nurses. It says, Brittany and Ben, we are so sorry for your loss. I pray the Lord will be near to you in this time. You are incredible and so strong. May you be filled with hope from the Lord. Everly will be remembered. Brittany and Ben, I'm so honored to have met your beautiful petite baby girl, Everly. We are so sorry for your loss, but I'm certain that she is looking over you. Thanking you for the sweet moments with you. I'm impressed with how strong and brave you are. She will forever be in our hearts. There's also a journal in here. 
I haven't written in this yet, but I probably will. When I was in the hospital with Everly and after Everly, as you guys can imagine, I had so many emotions going on and I needed a way to, I guess, release those emotions. So I wrote a lot of things on my phone, just like thoughts, how I was feeling. I kind of documented everything. So I probably will handwrite those in here. That way I can save that in her keepsake box. Here is what Everly's keepsake box looks like. So on the bottom of it, it has her name and then her birth info. So that is Everly's keepsake box. So now I'm going to show you guys what I have in this bag because this is also Everly stuff. So the first thing that's in here is this little bunny. So I bought this for Everly when I was pregnant with her. Yeah, bunny. <laughs> that's Aurora. She's sitting right next to me. So I bought this for Everly when I was pregnant and I just thought it was so beautiful. When I was pregnant with Everly, I scoured the stores because I wanted something for Everly to cuddle with when she was born. Nothing seemed perfect for her, but when I came across this bunny, it just like, it spoke to me and I knew I had to get it for her. So I bought her this when I was pregnant and she did in fact snuggle with it the entire time she was with us. So it's very special and then there's this stuffed animal so like i told you guys layla ended up going into the gift shop to get everly that angel that i showed you guys she also picked out this stuffed animal for everly she wanted everly to have a little stuffed animal to snuggle with so she chose this one this little stuffed animal's birthday shares a birthday with everly out of all of the stuffed animals that layla chose she chose a stuffed animal that has Everly's birthday and that is so crazy to me and I don't know how to explain it but it's just it's so crazy like that was crazy to read in the hospital the other things that are in here are some jewelry pieces this is by the brand made by Mary and these were actually gifted to us by our friend Dominique I always wear this necklace around my neck I've worn this like pretty much every single day of my pregnancy when I gave birth to Everly in the hospital, I was wearing this necklace. It has a rainbow on it. And it just has a lot of special meaning to me that I hold close to my heart. So these necklaces that were gifted to us were given to me after Everly was born. After we were home from the hospital, I got these in the mail. So this first one has a E on it for Everly. These other two are for Aurora and then one is for Everly to keep in her keepsake box. It's the same exact necklace that I'm wearing around my neck from the same brand and everything, but they're just smaller. It's just a smaller version of it. So it has a rainbow on it too. So there's one for Everly and then one for Aurora, but Aurora is really small right now, so she doesn't wear it. So I just keep it in Everly's keepsake box for now. Layla also has one too, but she does wear it, which is why it's not in here. The other thing that is in here is this little rainbow ring i keep this with everly's stuff because when i was pregnant with her we had a birthday party for my sister bella and there was rainbow rings on the cupcakes and layla took this off of her cupcake she handed it to me and she said here you go mommy this is for everly because it reminds me of her so i thought that was so sweet so i keep this with everly's things and then i also have some canvases in here that i took to the hospital that way i can get Everly's handprints and footprints on a canvas. You see her little tiny toesies? Uh, yeah, her little toesies. Yeah, and, the, and this one is her little hands. Oh, this is a flower. <laughs> you want to high five it? Go ahead, high five. Woo! <laughs> so here's Everly's handprints and footprints. The last things that I have for Everly is what she wore in the hospital so here is the swaddle blanket that i brought to the hospital i got this when i was pregnant with her and after everly passed away um we changed her into this little dress that i'll show you guys in a moment and then we swaddled her up in this blanket and this little dress was the dress that everly wore in the hospital so it's super pretty has little jewels on it it's just it's so pretty so that's everything that i have for everly so since everly's keepsake box is kind of small and not everything fits in there 
I went on Etsy. I will leave this link down below for you guys. So I ordered her this big wooden keepsake box. It has her name and then it has like her birth info on here. And then this is what the inside looks like. So it has these little compartments on the top. And then this thing pops out. And then it's just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and place all of Everly's things in this box and then I'm going to probably place some stuff back in her original keepsake box. I did a lot of bad things and never did I give in just cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am I have never it for this video i do plan on filming another video all about everly it's going to be like a q a all about like her birth story and everything i asked you guys on instagram to send in your questions all about her birth and how that went how everything's been so you guys sent me a lot of questions so i want to film that in a separate video because it's probably going to be long if you guys don't have an instagram and you're wondering something about her birth or if you're just wondering something about everly in general you guys can leave it down below in the comments but as always if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the man family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and before i say goodbye to you guys i just want to say thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your prayers. Thank you guys for being so understanding and giving me the space that I needed and letting me do this in my own time. I really appreciate it so, so much. So thankful for every single one of you guys. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.